How to sharpen your own clipper blades. First you take the blades off, remove all the pieces, get yourself a sharpening stone. Sharpening stone, see the side of it. It says two-sided. Two-sided. It's hard to read. It says made in Brazil. And it says Norton is the brand. And then there's the Norton oil. Sharpening stone oil. You get the stone. Take your blade. It dries up. Oil it soaks it up pretty fast, man. Okay. The oil it soaks it. It soaks it up real fast. You want to lay it flat. Till the blade, the tip of the blade is flat. Go back and forth like that. Lightly. Don't apply a lot of pressure. Let the stone do all the work. You can go in strokes like that, or you can go back and forth. And to test it, you just want to put the assembly back together and uh, cut your own hair or cut someone's hair and see how it cuts and adjust it to your liking. Okay, let's get a close up of the bottom of the blade when you flip it over. Just with the tip. You can kind of see this shiny this scratching the sandings from the sharpening stone. Makes it look clean. Could probably do this with a rusted out blade. Yeah. And fix it. Yeah, I, I believe you could, yeah. Take the rust right off of it. Depending on the amount of rust, it might be a lot of work. And we are sharpening the blade on the Andis T outliner. Yeah, it's that simple. Just keep sliding it until you get it done. Nice. Oh, put it out there. Okay. All right, here, sharpen it again. Here, I'll hold these. I'm going to go ahead and... All right, and then after they're sharpened... <laughs> I can't walk it off place now. <laughs> if you really think of it, bro, that's, that's your license. Right there. Did you, did you, did you say for the A1? A1? Oh, it's not bad, eh? Great Python. They cut so close. cool, <laughs> It's even shaving these short hairs on my face even shorter. <laughs> and it's sharp and clean. <laughs> okay, that's good.